And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and we've got things to do. Ability-wise, you want to make sure you put up as many preventatives as you can. Take off bandit mug and level up and all ability up. All that stuff needs to come off, and you need to put on all the things that will protect you from status effects the best that you can. Make sure everybody at least has auto-haste as well. Make sure you've got everything set up the way you can in order to survive any spell things that are thrown at you. And you might be, you might, we might make it out of here alive. All right, so since we're all ready, set, and done, let's get to it. We've come too far to lose now. Let's just wrap this up and go home, all of us, together, forever. Sorry, me ad-libbing is usually a bad idea, as we are thrown into the ultimate bout. Against the big ugly. Dun, dun, dun. What the hell? And now, how this is fill it fits in with the story is never really explained. I don't know. Well, maybe it will be explained. But this is the final battle. We are somehow levitated up, so we can actually reach this thing. All right, let's get to work. Okay, first things first. The same strategy applies. Auto lifing is your friend. Um, you may even want to consider using other means to protect yourself. Keeping Zidane and Iiko on call to do whatever needs to be done is going to take priority. Auto life takes priority, and just keeping everybody alive is going to be the name of the game here. Allowing Steiner to constantly attack with shock no matter what happens. As long as we can keep throwing out shock, we will survive this confrontation. Let's go ahead and use Akira. We don't need to use Akiraga for a little bit of... Oh, crap! I should have waited. Ow! It's Elixir Queena, because the little Cura is not going to do shit. So this is going to be an interesting battle. This is one of the hardest boss battles other than Ozma that we've had to deal with. So here we go. Ozma, I still think, is harder than this guy. Significantly harder. And I'm sure a lot of people will agree with that. Let's auto-life Yaiko, because that's going to be very important. Hopefully that Aether gets to Queena soon. Yeah, you can cast Protect, I don't give a crap. I'm gonna hit you with the Shocker. Ain't gonna help you, bro. No three. We're just gonna hold out on Taiko here, waiting for any of the major uber attacks. All these little ones can be dealt with pretty moderately. I'm not too worried about getting hit by a level 1 Blizzard, as you can see. Um, that is what I'm really worried about, getting hit with Grand Cross. The ultimate status effect skill. Everybody's gonna get hit with mini. Everybody's gonna get hit with anything we couldn't cover. So Eco's gonna get hit with something. How we counter this is gonna be Angel Snack. That will be the ultimate way to protect us from being hit by this. Unfortunately, we can't stop any effects yet because Queen is busy at the moment. But what we may want to do is throw out remedies, which might help at least Eco get back into the game here. And keep her prepared to throw up Kuraga no matter what. And that's really what we've got to do at this point. Because this is going to be nasty. As you can see, a hitter with Doom, the Berserk Steiner. So it's all hell is pretty much broken loose in every sense of the word. Let's go ahead and stop him from being Berserk with a Gistle Green. I don't care that Zidane is in troubled mode. He's not really attacking. And maybe we'll take it off him when he has to use Grand Lethal. But until then, don't ignore it. Throw that on Steiner. We just gotta hold out the best we can, guys. Because we're, he's gonna go all out. Oh no, Aiko's dead! Well, we got full uh, auto, uh, auto life on her. So we'll have to deal that out in a moment here. As you can see, I'm kind of using alternative means instead of an Angel Snack right now just to keep momentum going. As that didn't matter at that point. We can pull it off without taking any issues here, but we may have to angel snack anyway, but I don't know. I thought he was using it there, but I guess not. Who's using that? Well, it's too late to worry about it now because we're about to get hit hard. And I think this will kill Eco again. It killed almost everybody. We're going to get murdered here, I think. 
we don't do something different, we're gonna get murdered here. The Queen is still gonna be up, the Dane will be down, so we gotta get control over Steiner here, so he can throw up an something, anything, will help us at this point. Blue Shockwave, oh crap. Elixir, the Dane, Elixir Steiner, whatever we can to keep us up. Because we know Queen has got auto, auto life on her. That may not last. We don't put on some speed here. That's why you gotta have auto hate? Because this is just, it's consistent ponage left and right. As you can see, we're actually doing pretty well here. We've got some momentum back in our favor. Whatever, any of these will work. So we get hit with another blue shockwave, which will be a HP depleter instantly go well let's go ahead and hit him with shock and after that we'll go with the elixir on Steiner yeah show yourself I don't care waste turns I don't care waste all the turns you want we've got to keep the momentum going here in our favor because we, we kind of have to re recover from that nasty little handout that we just had that nasty little bit of death that we had to endure Hopefully we can do so. Try to keep all the auto heal, all the auto life guys up at full as best as we can, as long as we can. By doing that, it'll ensure that we can beat this boss. Like I said, it doesn't matter who's alive at the end of this fight, as long as we survive it. And hopefully we'll, it'll survive. We will. Hopefully we will. There we go. Everybody should be auto fixed. We're going to save Aiko for the things like Blue Shockwave now. We're not going to waste turns with other things here. As it misses, nice! Anybody else need Auto Life? Yes, the Dane. So let's do that too. Get him up to date. And then we should be safe for a while. I say that very pessimistically. If I can even say that word without sounding like a complete retard. Let's hit him again with the Shocker. Luckily, we can shake that off a bit. Our tension is building, which is good, which is very, very, very good. We may want to use Queen as White Wind as a secondary healer rather than wasting Aiko's turns to do that. So that's something that we're going to consider. Let's go ahead and do that actually now. Where is it? White Wind. As you can see, I'm just letting Steiner do all the real to hard work. Oh, crap. I should have actually waited and let Aiko do it. Oh, well. Here we go. Oh, here's where all hell breaks loose yet again. Alright, well, let's endure it the best we can. This is the Grand Cross is what really breaks up this battle. It only takes us like three or four turns as you saw to recover from it. Luckily for us, though, everybody's got auto life on them, so we should, this should be a little more forgiving. Grand Cross, the stupid spell brought over from Final Fantasy VI, I believe, is where Grand Cross makes his first appearance. Queen gets death. Support life her. Luckily, it didn't really see. Oh, it did affect other people, but regardless. Oh, why did I use full life? I forgot about all the. Well, it was blue magic, angel snack anyway, so that way we can cure everyone here from that nasty situation. And we'll have to eat thirst with somebody at some point because we're gonna get murdered. We don't do something. There's my elixir. Oh, Queen is down again anyway. Not good. Not good at all. Come on. That was just a terrible sounding moan. It was like a very sexual moan. Nice! Our full life paid off. Somehow. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to auto life her again, but first things first. We've got to remove all the status effects because it's going to ruin our flow here. Ruining our chi. We're going to have to cure Aga everyone as well. This is going to sting just a little bit. Ow! The auto, thank God, thank goodness for auto life. Woo! We're safe! But not quite. We still got to recover here. Um, Steiner, let's throw an elixir at Steiner. Or ether rather, since we're all gonna no, yeah, an ether. We're all gonna get Kiraga in a moment here, and cured of all of our status effects, or at least the important ones, hopefully. There we go. 
I think Steiner got cured. I can't tell if he's mini or not. No, he's full size. Alright, sweet. Let's auto life. We gotta go back into the rhythm of auto lifing everyone. Lena first, followed by Steiner, followed by Zidane. Nice. I thought we equipped who we were headed, but I guess I did. Blue Shockwave, Kiraga. Counter it, really. As it misses, which is fine. Shocker, baby. Oh, yeah. Should be getting close to defeat here. Well, he's got Protect Up, so it's taking a little longer. We could use Dispel, but I'm reluctant to do that at the moment. I'd rather not die. Because I wanted to waste my healer's turn. Well, actually, well, no, we don't have the ability to because she's being used up at the moment. Another Kiraga makes its way out into the battlefield. Auto life on Steiner. Oh boy. We're doing pretty good though, guys. We're hanging in there, and that's what's important. Who's trancing? Oh no! Somebody's about to get pwned now! Go all out now. Let's do it. Who else is getting trance? Steiner! Sweet, so we can actually conserve his MP, which is good. While Zidane and him both go at it, we'll just do melee attacks for now. We're gonna get hit with Holy, hopefully it hits Steiner. He can absorb it. Hopefully it doesn't hit somebody who just takes half damage. Yes, I think it just did. It just did. But we luck out and get double white. Nice! Let's throw out a Kiraga. And better than that, let's throw out Dispel. On the big end which ought to slow him down just a little bit. We're all pretty much trancing here. As we'll get him with Shock and Grand Lethal. Hopefully. I think that's what we set up here. Yeah! Auto Life getting spread around because it's joyous. Hopefully Zidane doesn't get gibbed here. Get him again with another. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Wait, what am I doing? I'm using Shock again. What the hell's wrong with me? Ah, I'm so concerned about taking him down. I'm not paying attention to what I need to be doing. Let's go ahead and throw out Auto Life on Zidane, who's the last character who doesn't have it. He should be almost done for, but Zidane's gonna go down this turn. This is an AoE hit, unless he can absorb it, which I don't think he can. Okay, he's down. So we gotta pick him up when we get a chance. And Queen of Trances, though. Queen of Trance is a joke. Luckily, though, we take less damage when we are tranced, I believe, so that should help a little bit. Even if it's not a lot. We'll dispel this guy, too. That maybe will make him waste a turn, which I can live with. And we'll have a double white ready to go next round, too, so we'll throw out a heal and a full life as well when that comes up. Let's see here as we get hit with a blue shot. God damn it. Hopefully we dodge it. Which did not end up happening. Full life stain, followed by a Kiraga. Hopefully we can get the kill, guys. Cross your fingers. Big money! Oh yeah! Eat shit and die, yo! Even though Zidane kind of fell, but we can live with that, I think. I sure can live with that. So this boss is kind of just random. Yes, it is, bro. Say hello to my stick. <laughs> oh, man, doesn't it feel good to die fast? Oh, man. Woo! Had me running for my money in the end there, but those are the strategies that will really help you survive that last boss fight. Just keeping the momentum going. Don't hesitate. Go for it. If you hesitate, that's when he gets on you because of his fast turn, how quickly he gets turns. Oh, it's totally the end, bro. You're totally gone. Yeah, yours eternal is a fart in the wind. Well, we'll, we'll try to see if we can live without the death. You know, trying to back off on the death there just a bit. Holy shit, it's like real magic. Ooh. What the hell? 
Why does everything have to almost turn into like some like nasty creepy tentacle monster? Yeah, but look what's happening. So the what Kuja the seventh tree if a tree is beginning its violent reaction. That's gonna happen. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Can we stop it? We did. Captain, look! I see them! No. It's actually funny because that's like the first time you can actually see one of the Knights of Kudo's eyes. Oh god, contact, contact them right away! Run, run! Are now. Punch it up on the main line. Oh god. We are, are we? Hopefully they get our asses out of there. Oh god, what a sight for sore eyes. Let's see here. Yes it is. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Yay! Yes, thank us, thank us! And we're aware we don't have much time. Let's get out of here. The one time I think we've actually seen Amrant run. And that should tell you something. It's, it's a team effort here, bro. What is this crap? Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Isn't this like the end of like the beginning of the Lord of the Rings when he had the chance to destroy the ring? You know. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> They're all coming with. Interesting. Jesus, Arnold, right. you're just... Yeah, that guy will never change. Aww. Back in... <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, you psychopath. Sociopath. There, yep, yep, yep. The Dane. Oh, God, Stein, we're on your knees already, and we're not even in safe, safe range yet. Steiner keeps watching because the makeout scene's about to take place. <laughs> okay. We may have faced many hardships, I'll tell you. Especially with my bladder and 
leaving Grunk half the draft as let's play. Makes it kind of interesting. Definitely makes the game harder. <laughs> Ow! I hit myself with a rubber band! Ow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll come a lot. I mean, come back. Yeah, Alright, here we go. Shit's gonna get whack, yo. I don't have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that music glitch. It, you know what? I've asked around too. That's a common glitch with a lot of people. So, I'm not too concerned about it. No way. Leave him! Idiot. Oh my god. Here goes nothing. Uh oh. Watch your lips. Oh, dang, this is the part where you run. Because your anus is not safe from that, which is <laughs> the rage inducing uh, tentacles. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, great. I'm going to get tag team. Oh, we're riding upon one. What are the odds of that? <laughs> what a weirdo. I'm Joker till the end, huh? Speaking of Jokers, we better get out of here. Go, 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 go! Let's see if any of your hero types can handle this mad skill. Yeah! Oh no! What the heck? It's like the Matrix. Boy, falling! Falling! I had to do it. You guys knew I was gonna do it too, come on. As we are now at the bottom of some pit. Yep, just barely. <laughs> you think? What a sociopath sometimes, I'll tell you. Oh, man. Can't take this guy anywhere. You know he's gonna rise up, try to kill us, take over the world. Come on. Yep. It's our turn to get moving. Uh oh. There's the little four dots of death. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it means being glad that you're not dead. Uh oh, tentacle rape. Incoming! The times for us to get out of here. Oh god. Oh no. The images in my mind. They're terrible. Are we dead yet? No. Are we dead yet? No. Are we dead yet? No. Are you dead yet? Probably. <laughs> what you did was wrong. I may never forgive you, but at least Jesus will. <laughs> what? Where did hope come from? Eh, whatever. Oh, maybe this is Motoko Sands or whatever. 
Very, very interesting. Dark ending for everybody to die. Well, for the main character to die. Some time later. Hey, it's Vivi. Still waddling around as usual. The ticket, huh? So this is Alexandria. What? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Puck, you know Puck, Prince of Bernecchia. Oh my God, what's going on? Hmm? What the hell? Oh no! <laughs> wow! Whatever happened to Vivi? You were a very special person to us. Because you taught us all how important life is. Pat, when you could get past the sexual innuendos. <sighs> hey, look at here. Pray you're leaving soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria, I went there many years ago. When you were looking for me, I had better things to do. Uh oh, sitting by the fountain. Oh. How long will it take to rebuild the I don't care, as long as I'm with you. Aw, oh, little rats in love. I love you, Freya. Yet he still doesn't remember our past. It's so sad and so beautiful, too. You told me that life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. Why I'm starting drinking today. <laughs> Cleavage. <laughs> it's time to say goodbye to this room. I remember dressing Diana. Save the queen. You have served me well. Though we will, we will never know because we never got to use it other than our armor. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Well, that's kind of a sad ending. Even if you say goodbye, it will always be in our hearts. You make it sound like I died! So, I know you were not enough anyway. <laughs> God damn it, I can't help it. Oh, look! It's Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> hey. Why are you going to Alexandria, yo? I never said that. Hey, wait, fool, get over here. I don't know what else to say for her. <laughs> why, why I was born. How I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me the time to think. It's hard to believe Amrit did thinking, though he didn't do a lot of talking, so I assume that's probably part of it. Amrit could have, I think, been a more developed character. Good fool, not only delicious. Um, nom, 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 nom. Good food made with heart. <laughs> I can't think of a voice for for <laughs> Queen. There's just so many options, and they're all disturbing. To keep doing what you set your heart on. Could it be any slower? It's a very hard thing to do. It is. 
we were all so courageous full of shit. Well, mostly Queen of being full of shit. Though we did got to see a lot of the development there later. Hurry, hurry, we gotta get there before the play begins! Ugh. There's no need to hurry. We'll get there when we get there. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. The Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. <clears throat> That's what you said, father. Oh my god. Ihiko, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Aww. Seems like they adopted her. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I actually can't. I can't make a mock at that. As much as I want to, I can't make a mock at a pedophile. <laughs> oh, damn it! <sighs> hmm. Hey, here's Beatrix. Ba 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 ba. Beatrix! Where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait, listen to me! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I never wish to lose you again. Steiner, let us protect the Queen together. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures. But, I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. And get back to work making the daily pay. <laughs> oh god, oh no. No! No, not these guys. Alright, Miss Combat, we're almost there. Been a long time since we saw them, they're all gonna have their little two bits here, as they always do. Break your legs, Senna. That'll bring me some pleasantness. Everyone, thank you. This must be Zidane saying all this stuff. Like, in death. Uh, ah, that made me feel a little better. My memories will be... <sighs> but it was, I mean, oh, there's, there's Garnet. Queen Garnet. The theater ship will arrive any minute. Mm, it's been so long. Can't wait to see everyone. Hopefully nothing happens like what happened last time. <laughs> but uh, it'll never be the same. Not without him. <laughs> Pretty much that's what she wanted to say. Come on, you were thinking it too. It's kinda sad. Oh god, no, not this play. Not this play. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long ago. A heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins with Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, your Royal Majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Steiner, and Lady Beatrix, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents I Want to Be Your Canary. Again. Ever. <laughs> Marcus, my cleavage is hanging out. Sweet Marcus, I feared I love the. Oh god, more of this. Call me a princess no more. Blah 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 blah. Yakety schmackety. After our 
nuptials shall I become no more than a puppet. Mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry. I wish to live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh at it. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Cast away thy trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle them. They go way too fast. <laughs> to make it sound dramatic. Hmm. No squall. Yeah, if I start seeing squall, I'm going to start killing people. Oh, love is the sweetest joy of the wildest forever. God. Oh my god. Too much romance for me. Too much longing is driving me insane. We have to sit and endure this entire play, I'm sure. Good day. It's the uh, Marcus. Marcus. Okay, come on. This. Ooh. Nothing like cunt punching for the win. <laughs> Take that, ex girlfriend! <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's Cornelia. Market. They should soon embark. So, oh my god, he's just ugly to look at anyway. Hmm. That's what you think. <laughs> oh, so the sun is our enemy too. The eastern sky grows bright. Interesting. Ship depots. Probably. Deal with it. If you delusion, if you become delusional, uh. <laughs> showstopper. Oh, you know she's totally going for it. <laughs> you better go get him, girl. Sorry about the music, guys. Just deal with it. As we get a wonderful scene here. The queen is out amongst the people. It's almost forbidden. The Alloway, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, hey, hey, what, what the? Oh, holy crap, it's the queen. Excuse me, your majesty. Oh, sorry. Holy crap. Oh, no. It's getting away. You know what happens when that gets away. Oh my god, she left it. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh snap. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't handle. Oh! <laughs> They are all in happy cheer. <laughs> He's got the save the queen in his hand. Oh, it was a happy ending. Oh, yay.
actually one of the brightest of the happy endings, in my opinion, right? That last part right there. So the Tantalus guys must have known he was a he didn't survive. Hmm. Hopefully we get the juicy tales of details about how he survived. But they all ended up moving. As we get a song here. So that completes Final Fantasy IX. This is one hell of an adventure. Um, very lighthearted in the beginning. Very strong ending. Very tough. Very sad ending, even. It's a very dark game. Uh, much like Final Fantasy VI was, where VII wasn't. It had dark moments, but not tragic dark. Um, the story in itself, as far as the PlayStation RPGs go, as far as PlayStation 1 Final Fantasies go, I think it was one of the stronger ones. The characters were much more developed, they were much stronger in presence and in nature, um, than Final Fantasy 8 for sure. Final Fantasy 7, the characters were good, the story was good, but I just didn't feel a sense of characterization. You know, they just were stereotypically different. These characters all had a lot in common with each other, as well as they had their separations. Um, well, the neat thing about this story is that it's colorful, it's full of colorful characters, colorful places, beautiful sceneries, wonderful worlds. Um, Seven had a little bit of that, but not as much as Nine did. Nine took it to a new tier with, that, with the beauty and detail, and just taking the old ideas and and, and, and polishing them and making them new and doing so much with it. Um, gameplay. The gameplay was great. Um, I think the great leveling system, I think the, that the, the way you learn skills is very solid. I just felt that you never leveled up enough to do a lot of the end game stuff unless you grind, had been grinding a lot or doing a lot of random stuff. I guess if you know where to go, that probably doesn't help you level up normally either. But. You know, there's a lot that goes into that when you think about it. Um, so the story, but the gameplay is solid. It's rock solid JRPG to the max. But one of the interesting notes that I want to make, though, is that as you progress through the games, the Dane actually gets weaker. He, he was like t almost seven levels to ten levels above everyone else, but he just didn't seem to be as useful by end game. Where other characters started to come into their own and show him up a bit. So there's some interesting things to notice there, but that, I think, is all based on how you develop your characters, per se. Um, so that covers that. Um, replayability. This game has a lot of, a little bit of replayability, I won't say a lot. It's got so much bonus stuff in it that it'll keep you busy. And in order to, in, in order to find it all on a whim is near impossible. You probably at some point would need a guide to find half of the crap in the game, if not all of it. I've heard of people putting 90 hours into this game, trying to find everything. I remember my first playthrough was 68 hours, I think. And I did beat Ozuna in that playthrough, so that was cool. Um, but, for in general, it's a great game. Um, other than that, I think we covered story, gameplay, replayability, graphics. I mean, at the time, was it was a beautifully drawn game. Beautiful artistics. There is one thing I do want to make a comment though with the story. Um, it has a, it's like a roller coaster ride in many places. It picks up real intense, then suddenly it slams on the brakes, like instantly. I'm like, what's going on? You see that a lot in Final Fantasy IX. You don't see that so much in Final Fantasy VII. And VIII's story was just a was just a mindfuck. So, I mean. It really, it, it tried to go back to roots, but still at the same time try to be dramatic and more than it needed to be. I think that that had a lot to do with it. Characters were great. Um, Kuja, though, I thought was kind of a weak bad guy. He wasn't a very strong villain. He didn't present enough villainous behavior to make me think of him as a villain, so much as he was just one of several villains. As this, this seemed, they seem to spread this, the, the villains out further than normal. 
So you, you had Ron, you had Kuja, you had Garland. All of them combined ended up being like one giant bad guy, in a sense. And the Invincible, even things that were not movable, like the, you know, not live, like, um, like, uh, the, uh, the Invincible, you know, just other, so many things adding so much extra drama to it and whatnot. Um, and I think the story, at the point where you start hitting the brand ball, I think the story gets a little diluted. We should have gotten more hints that, and I would have liked to see more hints, things hinting that Zidane was of something else. Of somewhere else, and, and there should have been more connection to Terra, but it covers up well, you know, by Endgame to make it so the story does get is comprehensible and does fit properly and does all that stuff. So this is a great game. I give it seven and a half birds out of ten. Um, actually, that's not true. I lied. I give it eight and a half birds out of ten. I take that back. I, I'm sitting here going, "Well, this music sucks," but it's really the emulator playing it back really badly. Um, but, uh, so I give it an eight and a half words. It's got great films, get great score. Nobuo Omatsu's score almost never seems to, uh, never ceases to amaze, never ceases to be awesome. So, you know, there's that in there. Um, the, and again, the gameplay solved the story like a roller coaster, but let me tell you, those good moments are great moments. Those slow moments are a little drawn out. But they, 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 I guess they work together enough that we can, you're able to get through it, so, and that's what's really important. Um, the leveling system and everything, lots of fun, lots of great stuff. I recommend it for all people to play. If this is, you know, this is a great first Final Fantasy, if this is your first Final Fantasy, if it's your second or third or fourth, this is a great one to play. Um, so if you haven't played a Final Fantasy game, this is a great one to start with. I would not recommend, like, playing Final Fantasy VIII, even seven. This is a much lighter-hearted Final Fantasy to enjoy. So, one for the kids, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play of Final Fantasy IX. I enjoyed playing it, for the most part. There's some struggling points near the end there with Ozma, and just, that drove me insane, but since we didn't really get through it. But, for the most part, it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, you leave some comments, you subscribe. I love getting, hearing, um, constructive criticism and uh, compliments. You know, if you're going to be an ass, be an ass if you want, but I can just ignore that too. <laughs> so that is it for our Let's Play of Final Fantasy IX. I'm your host, Nick Legato. It was a good run. It was a great run, actually. Um, now that we've reached the end. There's also a Blackjack minigame at the end. I'm not going to show it. I really honestly don't care to show it. <laughs> You're welcome to sit around and play it if you want. Not my problem. So anyway, I got some new other games lined up that won't glitch out this bad. Um, just because this emulator has an issue with this specific game. Literally, this specific game is what causes the problem. Anyway, so hopefully when the next Let's Play comes up, it won't be as graphically demanding and require lots of fixes in the emulator to get it working. But anyway, it was a good try. This is probably the hard most intense visually experience you'll see out of a PlayStation emulator. So, this is Nick Legato signing off. Hope to see you watch another of my editions of Let's Play. We'll see you then.